F word. Butterfly kisses. Come on, Ed. Yeah. Phil, what do you want? Yeah, I'll give you your curling iron back tomorrow. I need it. I'm chasing some asshole in the woods right now. He stole my drugs. So this is why I don't act anymore. Um, tell you what, it's tough directing yourself. I'll, I'll blame it on that. Drugs! Drugs! So I remember just like running around with my brother with our little crappy digital camera and just whatever random idea we had we made a goofy video about it and I just remember constantly laughing so much because it was so fun. Are we supposed to introduce ourselves or something? What's going on? Uh, yeah, just do it again. That was definitely the, the basis um, of a lot of what I feel doing projects now, whether it's for a client, of like videography or it's you know, being in charge of a film crew, making a movie. It's that idea of like, we got a camera, we're gonna capture some fun stuff. Um, no matter what kind of content it is, it's a blast. And I mean, that's definitely, that, that definitely has roots, like growing up making those stupid videos. So uh, I went to the National Puke Contest. Did you? Yeah, my cousin Joey was in it. Joey! Too bad he got like 19th place. That's alright. He still got a huge trophy though. I don't know why. It's <laughs> weird. The I'm first place guy weird. didn't even get a trophy. Those things are weird, man. Those things are weird. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, my brother, I mean, Jordy, he, he was a huge influence um, as far as like making videos with me and just messing around and, and doing that. You know, we went to the movies all the time. I remember we went to the movies so much. It's funny because I, you know, I have my own house now with my wife and we turned our living room into like a projector that projects on the wall and we have a popcorn maker. So clearly that little kid is still trying to, you know, find that, those feelings that I had that really changed my life that like pointed in the direction of this is what I want to do. And since then I made a lot of video projects and I made a movie that I watched in theaters and man, like, I thought it was awesome when I was a kid. It was even better, like, watching a movie I made as a 22-year-old kid in charge of a handful of people coming from out of state, staying for two weeks with thousands of dollars. Like, I just, I look at the Blu-ray that's propped up downstairs, and I'm like, I can't believe I made that, you know. But then I think... Oh, I can make a better one than that. I really can, for sure. I love Blood on the Leaves. It's amazing. Like, it's... It's awesome. So, I want to top it, you know? I do. Blood on the Leaves. Gotta keep adding more to it, man. On the panel. Um, this is blue card here. And it's scenes like this that make action. And in, in other movies, too, it's these boring, you know, scenes that make the action so meaningful. And when you see him struggling with this girl, like the relationship side, I'm definitely, especially at this stage, you know, I've been dating my wife now here for about a year. And I mean, it was just like occupied my mind most of the time, you know obviously very very present all the time and including when I'm writing including when I'm thinking of ideas very focused on that other side of me that's what it feels like it's an influence and you know she's not even trying that's just who she is you know my wife and it's funny because she's actually holding the boom mic in the 25 degree weather her hands freezing off screen of this while I'm talking to another girl so that just tells you about this girl um, and how much influence she has in the work I do, and I wouldn't want it any other way. I really wouldn't. And, uh, and this scene, uh, this scene is one of my favorite scenes I've ever made too, because the ending of it, the line that she says to Cole. I remember we premiered it, 
at the Wrights Theater where I got married. See, it all comes back. It all comes back to the art, you know, my relationship with my wife. It's why I'm able to do this stuff. But my grandpa, Beauvais, um, who, he died probably a year after this, a year or two after, I think a year after this. But he, he looked at me and he said, you know what my favorite part of that was? And I'm like, what's that? And he said, when she turns back and says, um, the parents got out too, or, I mean, it's the line that makes him, takes that weight off of him. And she says that to him. So my grandpa, who, I mean, that's like one of my favorite like memories of him. It was, was him telling me like, I see what you did there, you know? Cause like I was, like he was with my grandma for 60 years. So obviously like that was like a huge part of his life. And he recognized like, that's where this came from. Like you feel something for somebody, don't you? And it's like, that line is the most important line it lifts all this stuff off of this character and yeah so not only you know my wife like is very influential in this scene but like my grandpa saying that sort of legitimizes that like we're doing something right yeah you know? um the aviator right there man that's it that's the one that started this whole freaking Thanks, bro, for taking me. For real, that was a blast. Let me get that back in here.